hello hello collective welcome to letty blue if this is your first time to my channel thank you so much for being here okay and for my uh subscribers thank you so much for coming back to my channel okay collective energy we're gonna see what we have ahead of us for the week what are our current energies at this time what is our challenge for the collective what's unseen for the collective what we need to focus on as a collective and you know um some advice for the collective okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started here here's a noise here just to clear the energy okay so let's see what we have here okay so first we have enlightenment okay what is it that we need to learn what is it that we need to see okay then we have motivation okay so um never give up okay so it seems like you know what's unseen we are going to be motivated okay um the challenge is being enlightened to be motivated this week okay all right we have joy the focus this week is about joy okay and the advice is journey okay we have a labyrinth there okay so let's see where we are for this week's energy okay we're gonna bring the tarot out at this time all right so what i'm seeing here is enlightenment motivation joy and journey okay let's go ahead and see what the challenge is what we're motivated for and what's the focus at this time okay okay the challenge is where is your passion at at this time actual action movement okay Motivation, okay, is the unseen, okay? The focus is joy. Okay, and then we have the five of cups. Okay, and we have the five of swords. Okay, so when it comes to enlightenment, it looks like, you know, um, this mermaid here is like, okay, I'm ready to go. This mermaid is all about ambition, okay this this mermaid this night is all about action taking action um towards what it is that he wants to do okay he's non-stop he's fast and he's on fire okay so when it comes to enlightenment i just feel like you know um whatever it is that you really want to pursue this week whatever it is you want to learn whatever it is you want to bring forward it's time to do that to take action towards what it is that you want to do when it comes to motivation we have the sun in reverse but the sun is always going to be a good card regardless if it's reversed or not okay so you might be feeling like you know uh you know um not moving that much but you might have a burst of energy okay so it's all about you right now with maintaining some type of harmony this week okay you want harmony and the sun is going to bring that harmony okay the sun is all about you know having vitality um feeling better if you haven't been feeling better being joyful um feeling full of you know um light okay following the light okay being you know um you know, innocent, being joyful, rebirthing what wasn't there, okay? So when you see this sun card, that means, you know, um, that's usually the best card in the deck for a lot of tarot readers. And um, it's just a good energy, overall energy, okay? And the focus should be about you, you know, um, finding joy, okay? So it's a sense of you learning, you know, um, finding out what it is you want to do, and finding more joy, okay? Because there's a lot of us that are um, not feeling up to par, okay? There's a lot of us that are grieving. There's a lot of us that are, you know, having challenges, going through obstacles, um, having, you know, issues, okay, emotionally. So 
this card is basically saying find joy although you see those three cups that are spilled over in the background you see those two cards in the background that's saying that we still have something to thrive for okay something to motivate us forward okay there's a light in the background you see that tower in the background that lighthouse that's saying that although things may feel dark we still have light okay because there is more than what we grieve okay for us to move forward okay and that's saying whatever journeys we are going on some of us might be traveling this week okay um the sense of you being very careful okay um during this journey okay even if you're journeying through your mind or if you're traveling physically whatever journey you're going through whether it's family whether it's work whether it's you know um vacation whatever it is in your life that you're journeying on just be mindful how you react to your people in your environment okay while you're going on this journey because there's a sense of you overthinking okay or you know this is a time of challenge for many of us okay and it's a time of change so just be mindful how you treat people okay because when you hurt people or things may come up that you know you if you're not aware of it and you say things out of your mouth or you do things that you're not aware of sometimes you know you're not the actual winner of the whole cause so yeah, just be mindful of that. But we're going to go ahead and clarify this Knight of Wands, the Sun, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Swords here. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing the Tower in reverse. Okay, the Lovers. Okay. Judgment. And the Hierophant. So I'm seeing that a lot of you, okay, we have the Tower. Okay, the Tower is all about, you know, with enlightenment. This is enlightenment when it comes to the Tower. Because the Tower sometimes, you know, represents our ego. Things that we build up on the inside of us, okay. So with this night, it's just basically saying, okay, you don't want anything torn down, okay, um, at this time. But the way the world is now, the Tower is going to be coming up in a lot of readings quite often now because we're being enlightened every day okay and with this night being on fire is saying to watch what you do okay although we may have tower moments you know it's still saying that um whatever tower moment that we have we will be enlightened by it and we will move forward by it okay and with this sun card we have the lovers okay so be careful with motivation when it comes to partnerships okay this week this week is all about partnerships also that light and dark partnership of yourself okay remember that um remember love first when it comes to this lover's card if there's any disagreements or whatever remind yourself motivate yourself to never give up and to keep moving forward if it's something that um that's going to mess with your joy here you know you have the judgment card do not be too harsh on yourself or others at this time okay because of past hurts or past issues um keep moving forward okay to keep that joy in your life and remember don't don't be too judgmental when it comes to your surroundings the people and um yourself okay because we do have this hierophant here okay when it comes to journey Okay, um, maybe we are definitely um, traveling to do something work-wise or we might just be um, teaching others and we have to be very um, patient at this time. And um, this is also a card of challenges. You may also get people um, asking you questions or trying to get some information. So the key is to just be very... Um, mindful of your environment this week and you know people okay and i'm gonna get one more row here i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle that again because i saw that card
which I'm just going to keep that in mind. That was the Ten of Swords in reverse. That means we're probably healing and moving on to a new cycle because of change. Okay. But anyway, yeah, some of us are really stuck. But since we're stuck, we're actually really getting some enlightenment and learning some lessons when it comes to that. Seems like in areas we're really getting clarity and we're bringing out, you know, um, the compassion that we need towards people because i'm seeing here with the tower you have also the hangman and the hangman is just like okay looking at things from a different perspective and gaining some type of enlightenment at the time so whatever passion you are you you have at this time is saying okay let me go ahead and really figure out what i want to do okay some of you might feel hung up okay in relationships because the lovers is here in reverse um and some of you are over judging, okay? But the hangman is saying, look at things in a different perspective. Look look at things from an up upside down view, okay? Um, you have the whole world at this time to, to, to really, you know, live the way you want to live, okay? And, you know, things are, not, it's not, you know, um, the end when it comes to anything in life. Everything keeps going. This is also, you know, everything keeps evolving. You have the world in your hands, okay? You, you, you've learned your lessons. You, you're accomplishing things, okay? The point is, is to stay motivated so you can keep, um, discovering new things when it comes to, you know, um, your passion, okay, and your motivation, okay? This is also a card of travel too. So, you know, um, you definitely may be journeying somewhere at the same time very soon, okay? And when it comes to joy, okay, it's great to have many options when it comes to, to joy, Okay, but the thing is with the Seven of Cups, there's so many options here. And this has been, you know, a lot of people lately have been really fantasizing about things in general. Okay, the focus here is to whatever it is you really want to fantasize on is to focus on one cup. Okay, and um, take care of that one cup. Okay, don't fantasize too long or don't stay in that type of uh, mindset for too long. It's okay to dream. But don't dream for too, too long because you kind of get more stuff, okay? And, you know, the overall advice, you know, you have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is all about inner mastery, okay? Um, you know, she's, a, she's, she's adult feminine, okay? She has this beautiful, nurturing, magnetic personality. And it's just saying that, you know, you may feel beautiful and on fire and very charismatic this week. So um, bring that energy out, whether female or male, this week, okay, while you're on that journey, okay? So remember on this journey to be mindful of the people in your environment, okay? Focus whatever changes your obstacles and changes you're having and, and maybe conflicts. Remember, this Queen of Wands is a person who could get things moving and being um, having that great personality at the same time. When it comes to joy, see what you have in front of you, okay? And move on from the past, okay? These energies can be healed, okay? Don't overjudge yourself. Keep moving forward. Don't stay stuck on one thing for very long when it comes to unseen focus on your motivation okay get your vitality back think of yourself love yourself think of um understanding who you are your light and your dark and make sure you bring the best qualities out because you have this world card okay everything is still here so stay motivated and the challenge is to stay enlightened okay although you have you know these these different foundations breaking down around you and you may be stuck in certain areas not knowing what actions to take. Stay enlightened. Keep that passion. So it's all about that this week. Okay. And we're going to get, you know, um, three clarification cards from a different deck to see if there's any um, same energies here. Okay. So the magician is here. Okay, the magician is saying you have all the resources to move forward at this time in your life. Take a look, use that willpower and push forward. What what you take action on now is what you can manifest in life. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there's definitely new beginnings here with this world card and this Ace of Pentacles. So there's new 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 love, okay? New 
uh, pathways for you, maybe new opportunities when it comes to work, those type of energies this week. Okay, we also have the nine of pentacles. So this is a, a point of you being grateful for, you know, um, just grateful in general for what you have and what you've accomplished. Also something that you have deserved. This is all about self-sufficiency. So this motivation within you is saying stay motivated because you will, you know, have the opportunity to be self-sufficient fully and completely on your own. Okay. And we also have one more card here for the collective energy. Okay. To achieve greatness, start where you are. Use what you have to do. Use what you have. Have. Do what you can. Okay. So that is the final card. To achieve greatness, start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. Okay, Collective, if you like this reading, I'd appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.